世代交代は始まってんだここで止まるわけにはいかないはいというわけでニュージャパンワールド認定 TV 王座2回戦成田君凱旋曲おめでとう盛大にお祝いしてあげるからねお楽しみにマカハリ、of course, in the shadow of Marine Stadium. I mean, talk about changing of the guard, the youth being served. Chibalote Marines have one of the best pitchers in the world, 20 year old. Roki Sasaki. But young man here in his early 20s, Ren Narita, we've seen grow up right before our very eyes. First as a young lion, then on excursion in the LA Dojo, training with Katsuyori Shibata. Now returning from excursion as the son of Strong Style and is looking to advance in the World Television Title Tournament. He is no frills, he is no nonsense. He is Ren Narita, the embodiment, the spirit of Katsuyori Shibata. Go ahead and get the checks out of the way because Toriano is going to look to. Control the pace and win quickly. And Ren Narita does not want to leave himself open or vulnerable for any surprise attacks that our pal Yano could make. I mean, if this was, oh, and Narita going out, that, that is season the means production. Go ahead and check me, referee, because I am going to attack Yano before the bell. So we will get no ring introductions. No notifications about Abrietos, the sports bar in the shadow of Tokyo Dome, where Chris and I will be just before Wrestle Kingdom to host a, a special event with those that are coming over part of the tour package at NJPW1972.com. We won't hear about the Bears and Nobori Betsu. Nor is Shinichi Chan ambassadorship of the YouTube channel and the great glamping DVD with the members of Chaos. And the quick takedown and a roll up. Marty Asami allowing that to go. That may have been just over a second, Yano, tearing away that corner pad here tonight. Obviously, the pace and everything is heightened in these matches with just a 15 minute time limit. And if it does go to time, as we've said, it'll come down to a coin flip. Ren Narita won a slugfest with Tomohiro Ishii. Toriano escaped after the great Muda sprayed the green mist into the eyes of the great Okan. That will only serve to infuriate Ren Narita, which is the point, because Yana will catch you and backslide you. That's how Yana wins. Back to his amateur roots, though. Great takedown and a roll up. The boot from Ren Narita puts Toriano down. And now we'll see if Narita is able to go to work and stay on the offense. He attacked Toriano in the aisle as Yano began his path to the ring. The winner of this first quarter final match will face the winner of our main event tonight, which is Sonata versus Kenta. That semifinal match will take place November the 5th, along with Evil versus Zack Sabre Jr. The winners head to Wrestle Kingdom. That's where the finals of the World TV title tournament, uh-oh, take place. And now look out. And oh boy. Ren Narita. 
is now going to have to deal with Toriano tying his feet together and now throwing him under the ring. So Narita's going to have to get out of the ring, get that tape off his feet, and do it all within less than 20 seconds. So he's gotten out from under the ring, and now he's got to try to undo all that tape. He keeps trying. Yeah, now he's got it. Meanwhile, Yano's pulled the other corner pad away. At 17 and 18, he gets back in. Time goes fast when you're stuck under a ring with your legs taped together. So it's four corners of exposed steel right now. And another obstacle in the path of Ren Narita. Just because you're back from excursion with a lot of flash and flourish doesn't mean that it's going to be a cakewalk for you, especially when you make a declarative statement like there's going to be a changing of the guard. That raises the attention of everybody in the locker room. You go from being the top of the class of young lions, doing well in excursion, to then coming back and being the least experienced of any main roster star. Especially a veteran like Toriano. As Narita is being introduced to the various corners in their naked state. A Yano boot across the chest of Narita won't get it done. Narita puts the brakes on that time. And Yano wipes himself out. Mid kick from Narita. Five gone, ten left in our time limit. Half hatch, but Yano resists. The yank of the hair, though. There's the half hatch. Into the cross arm breaker. And Yano, Yano twisting away, and that put him in more trouble. But now getting the butcher's grip. Uh oh. Yano could be out. In that triangle, Yano's not going to give out, give up, but. We might have a referee stoppage, but a toe on the second rope will free Yano, but he's in deep trouble. Uh-oh, belly to belly. And now Toriano can clear the cobwebs, get that blood flow back to the brain, and buying himself a little bit of time. We're just about halfway through our 15 minute time limit here. Watch out. Boot into the chest and Yano goes down, but not out, a kick out at two. Oh. 
Inverted atomic drop, watch out, catapult coming. Narita launched into the corner, watch the chop block. The spear to the back, kick in the knee, the roll up, Yano's gonna do it here, no! Uh-oh, say goodnight. I don't think he's gonna be able to survive a second trip. He's out. What more do we need? What power from Toriano. Power bombs is, oh my, Narita bouncing right back up. Cover, kick out at one. The knee exposed. Here comes Ren Narita. How about that knee strike there too? The guillotine knee gets it done and Ren Narita advances. So we will see Ren Narita in action in a singles match. A World TV title tournament match coming up on November the 5th. And his opponent for a berth in the finals will either be Sonata or Kenta. Another pair of veterans potentially to test Ren Narita with a berth in the finals on the line. That's the prize, the World TV title belt. <laughs> 